high. We want to analyze our data by business segment and customer and the sum of sales amount. You've been given uh, sample data and want to create a report such that in every column of column A, we have the business segment shown like that with a blank space after each item. And at the same time, we want to insert a page break after each column item. To do this, we go back to our sample data and inside a P4 table, then group our data by business segments and customer. So narrowly, you'd go to, on the ribbon, go to insert, P4 table. On the P4 table, um, click OK to insert a P4 table like that. Then we pick the customer, do it on the rows, pick the, seg the business segment, duck it there. Then we'll go to the sales amount and put it there. Now, by default, the business segment and the customer will come to, uh, will appear on column A. But we want the business segment to be an independent column, which is column A, the customer on column B, and the sales amounts on column C. So we change the design so that the page layout or the report layout is shown as an outline form. And it comes like that. The next step is to insert a page break. For a pivot table, we will not insert from the page layout where we insert breaks uh, here. Instead, there is a built-in menu for the pivot table where you're required to right-click on the outermost column, that is column A. We're going to insert a pivot, um, a page break by fill settings, go to layout and print. Then we're going to insert a blank line after each item. We re repeat item label, insert page break after each item. To be sure that we are going to in, uh, include the business segment, customer, and the sum of sales amount in each of the row headers, we can use now the page layout where we repeat the print titles and say we are going to repeat at the top this row three. Then we click OK. Now. You can see there's a dotted arrow here on column C, which shows that the sales amount will be on a different page. We can go to the normal view, go to page break view, then make sure that we have pulled this manually. So we make sure that we uh, show this in a different page. We have it on each page. Using um, Control and P, or let us first go back to the normal view. You use Control plus P to check. Um, oh no, there is a night. So if you press Control plus P, we realize that the columns around each of the items, it's been. So that's page one, it's page 34. Then when we go to page two, we realize that the row headers have been repeated. At the same time, we have accessories on each page. If you go to other pages, we realize that we click on to page five page five right there you see that accessories is still there we want to go to the next item click, click. then page 10 for example like that you have page 15 you can see bikes and the header rows have been repeated thanks for watching